fish cakes are the perfect midweek meal and in my recipe I've used some wonderful cod and I make my own version of a tartar sauce. Let's dive straight in and I'll show you how easy it is to put these fish cakes together. First off, we want to get some potato on the boil. I've got a few potatoes here. Let's peel them and cut them up. Put them into a pan with some boiling water. I've also got some cod here. This is really good quality cod. You can see it's nice and fresh. And I'm going to lightly poach this in some milk. You can mix milk and water, but I think just straight milk is perfect. A couple of bay leaves as well. You want to poach it gently for about four minutes. You can take it off the heat and then let that fish sit there for 10 minutes and the residual heat will just continue to cook this cod all the way through. Once those potatoes are done, you can strain them and let all of that water evaporate off. On the lowest heat setting here, I'll put the potatoes back on, use my fork just to mash these up a little bit. Absolutely perfect. I'm going to make a nice little tartar sauce. This tartar sauce is not conventional, but it is so tasty. What we do is we finely dice some gherkin, and I'm going to use some shallot. Shallot's a far more delicate flavor than onion. Half a shallot, finely dice that. Some parsley, fish's best friend. You've got all of those finely diced. We can add some mayonnaise in, and some horseradish. Some nice mustard. The mustard I've used has a slight sweet kick to it. To loosen this off just a touch, I'm going to use some olive oil. Also, I'm going to chop up some chives and some parsley and add that in to our mashed potato. I'm going to use some of this mix in with the fish cakes, but afterwards you could use some lemon juice. This will bring some nice acidity and it will just loosen it up a little bit as well. Now's the time to add in fish. I've strained off the milk and I'm just going to very gently flake this fish through into the potato. And then I'm going to mix it all around. You want to be quite delicate. If you're too rough, it's going to break up all of the fish. You want some nice chunky bits of cod in there to keep it nice and rustic. Fantastic. I can now prep some breadcrumbs, stale bread, literally chuck it in your mini processor, blitz it up, get a nice fine breadcrumb. Also, a board with some flour and one egg beaten up. Tip the potato and fish mix onto your floured board, divide this into four, and then gently mould each one into a fish cake shape. Once it's quite compact and you're happy with that shape, dip in the egg. Be really nice and generous with this, but then importantly, shake that egg off and then put into your breadcrumbs. Coat this really generously with the breadcrumbs to get a lovely outer edge. What I like to do is gently pat all of those breadcrumbs in. This will result in a really beautiful fish cake. All that is left to do is cook these lovely fish cakes off. I've got some sunflower oil, put this into a pan, get this so it's nice and hot, and then put your fish cakes in. Cook these for about five minutes, keep an eye on them, flip them a few times, they become really nice and crispy and golden. To serve, I've got some lovely watercress, some lemon wedges and of course the tartar sauce absolutely delicious perfect midweek meal fish cakes